and my first guest, Tiffany Cox. Hello. And welcome to the first episode of Happiness Matters, the show. Why am I doing the show? Because a happiness matters and it adds greatly to my happiness. And really, I would love to be on like nationally syndicated sh um, talk shows. I really do. Yeah. You know, yeah. like Oprah, Ellen, all the good ones. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but because I'm a really little fish right now, I figured it's like, you know what? The next best thing, I start my own. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yes. So, we have the technology. <laughs> well, we have the technology. Do we have the skill? We'll find out. I don't care. To be cool. You know, the, I mean, the main point really is it's just like, just to have fun. You know, I'm inviting some of my friends that have businesses or not, or just cool, yeah. or they have businesses and are cool. Yeah. So, um, and, <laughs> the and we'll just see how that goes. Okay. Yeah. And if you guys have any suggestions, bring them on. You just might get what you ask for. Yes. All right. Anyway, so on. I'm Beanie, Beanie Man, and the dog that's walking around here, you might see the tail, is Mo the Service Dog. And this is my friend Tiffany, Tiffany Cox. Yes. And she actually has a business, and she did my website. So if you want to go to my website, check out her handiwork. It's mattersofperspective.com. Yes. And um, it's all her fault. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am the start of this. <laughs> and just, I think it's fun. I love it. I absolutely love it. And you designed my logo for Matters of Perspective. Yes. For my actual yes. company. And whoa. I mean, yes. you really, you listen to what I want. And you know I'm a little kooky. And just fun it's loving. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Um, so, no, but I mean, you really listen to what I want because I mean, the logo I had before, it was, eh, it served a purpose. It really served a purpose. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. That was it. And, um, but I like the, the, so my logo that I had before was like, you know, the two faces when you look at each other? Mm -hmm. is, it, yeah. is it two faces or is it a vase? You know, matters of perspective, depending yeah. on how you look at it. Depending on how so, you look at it, yeah. Um, so I kind of wanted to keep something like that in there. And of course, you know, I like rainbows and I like butterflies. Yeah. And bam! Bam. You totally did the, you did your thing. Yes, yes. Did your thing. Oh, and yes. huh, fun fact. It's so funny when you sent me the picture that I made it to your Hall of Fame. Oh, yes. It you was so it, awesome. Made it to my, my office wall <laughs> with my... my <laughs> my my favorite uh, projects on there. There's Thank only you. three of them. So hey, and I'm in the middle. Yeah, in the because middle. awesome is this. In my in my head anyway. <laughs> but but no, from the desk. Right, but it was so cool when it came through and I saw it. I was like squeak. <laughs> I yeah. When I get really excited, I really do the squeak. Yeah, you, you know, yeah. So. I know. I fe I feel it when you text me. Right. <laughs> and, and my husband, he Jeff, he's like, what? Said, oh, I made the Hall of Fame. Oh, shame? No, fame. Fame, no. <laughs> not shame. <laughs> yes. So, and he was like, that is so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. So I, it, it was it was just really exciting. Yeah, yeah. I love it. So I was like, it was like one of my favorites because we were on the podcast earlier, but I usually don't get to work on anything that's like rainbow or hot, lots of color, lots of fun. Mm -hmm. um, most things I work on are kind of, you know, they're, they're, they're professional, right? Right. You know, most of the businesses I work with are more professional, so they want to be... You're saying I'm not? You're professional. <laughs> <laughs> but in your own way. I mean, you're just kind of like, you tell people, this is who I am, and Love that's it. 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 Exactly. Hey, I always, exactly. I'm, I'm always straightforward. I'm always honest. I'm always... So you get away with anything. Well, <laughs> not anything. Anything. Maybe. But, but you know, I do with a smile. Exactly. So, but um, no, but I mean, life is just fun. Exactly. And it's like, and you know, I mean, I might. Buy, so I wrote the book, Happiness Matters. So I'm really all about the happiness, because ha to me, happiness is key. If we don't have happy in our life, I mean, everything just sucks. Yeah. Like, I think. We, I mean, it, have? it's like I mean, I did not have happy in my life for so long, and I read about it in my book. But it's just sad and dreary and dark, and you know. Yeah. And now that I do the happy, I get to have fun nails, too. Exactly. And then you don't go back. No. You don't ever. You don't want to go back because it's like once you've seen the other side. <laughs> the dark like, side. The side. It's no, the, the, the bright the right side. side. But the yeah. dark side has cookies. That's why we come in American. Um. Yeah. I tell people, so it was so funny, people are like, so you're German? I'm like, uh, not anymore. Mm. And I get the look like, what? 
<laughs> and I laugh and I said, yeah, I crossed over to the dark side. The cookies are better. The cookies are better. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that was my story for a long time. But <laughs> it works. So yeah. yes, I'm an American Fetch Boys. Yes. And I like it a lot. But, um, but no, I mean, it's just, seriously, when, once you have the fun, I mean, who doesn't want to have fun versus the depression and the, the dark and the ugh? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe really, there's some people. Yeah, there, that, there might be some people that, that, that live in that dark place and they like it. I'm sorry, guys. You don't need to come that. out. Don't come to that. the light. Exactly. Come to the fun zone. The fun zone. You know, and it's so funny too because I mean I lived in the in the status quo mm -hmm. phase yeah. for so long because it's all I knew. Yeah. And I mean I was miserable, but I made I made it my comfort zone because I made it work for me. Yeah, exactly. I mean at least I told myself it's working for me. It really wasn't. It wasn't working for me. Yeah. <laughs> no. But I mean it, it's just so much. It's gooder. I like gooder. the word gooder. Gooder. Because okay. it's funner. I know it's not really a word, so don't jump down my throat on that one, people. <laughs> Gooder is not really a word, but it's a word in my world because it's funner. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people do, though. They they like to live in that comfort zone, and I think we're almost trained to want to live oh, in that comfort zone. Oh, it's totally a condition thing. Yeah, because when you you know as you're going up, you're you're conditioned to like you no, know, you need to. You know, grow up, get a job, and get a good, get a house, get good grades, so you can get, get good school, then exactly. you can get a good education, you get a good job, and then you get a house and a car, and, and oh, by the way, you're miserable. And, exactly. You know, I mean, I was shooting myself for a long time. Yeah. Did you ever shoot yourself? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think everybody does. I think so. You know, should I do this? Should I do that? I know. Should I have done that? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I wish I should have done. Mm -hmm. Could have, or whatever. But, could have, um, should have, would have. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ew. No, but I mean, I, I get it. I mean, I've done it for a long time because I, I, I did what I thought was expected and what I should be doing is like, you know, mm -hmm. find a good job. Turns out I'm not really a good employee. <laughs> 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 I tried for a little while, but it's and, just... And then there's people who are good employees, but they're miserable the whole time. Right. You no, know, they're there. They're there, but they're not there. If that I know. makes sense. Well, no, and it, it it makes me sad. It's like when you know when I go through through Facebook, and Sunday night. Oh, why does it have to be Monday tomorrow? Oh, you yeah. know, I wish we had another day. I wish the weekend was longer. All and of my days blend together now. <laughs> it's like Twilight Zone. Like do 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 do. Mm. Sometimes I I actually have to look at my calendar on my phone to know what day it is. Same. Good. Yeah. And if I don't, if, if, so if, if I have an appointment with somebody or, you know, set up coffee or something, you know, yeah. and it's not in my calendar, it's not it's happening. Happen. It's yeah. not happening. It, it just doesn't exist in my world. It's just like. Exactly. You have to put it in your calendar because otherwise it's just, is it real though? <laughs> if it's not in your well, calendar. Well, is anything real? Is it, I mean, oh, oh so, think is about this it. the matrix? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. Who's to say that we're not a science project for an alien school kid. I mean, we, we put stuff in petri dishes and see what happens. So, I mean, what if we're the petri dish? Oh my gosh. Think about it. We probably I mean, are. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm like, oh no. I know, right? It's like, that's creepy. But. But. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. You know, you've seen, have you seen Men in Black? Yes. That's my favorite. We're like a little marble. I know, at the end when I, when they like open the door. Oh, and it's like. Locker. It's like a locker door with like a gazillion, gazillion, gazillion. Gazillion. That's a new one. I wonder how many zeros is in a gazillion. I want that in my bank account. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah. and you know, it's actually fun. So back uh, when when we were still in Germany, before I moved to the states, for some friend of mine and I, we came up with all kinds of weird stuff. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine you. me coming up with weird stuff. But anyway, so we were driving one day, and we were taught we had this theory. You know, because I mean, who's to say we're wrong? Prove right. me, prove it to me, right? Show me that I'm wrong. But anyway, okay. doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Just, just for for the giggles, you know. We were thinking, it's like, what if every human on Earth has an alien that's assigned to us because we're the science project? Okay, we we, right. we both agree. We have both agreed on that. We're somehow a science project, whether it's for a kid in science school or, but um, but what if? Each of us on Earth has an alien assigned to us, 
and then they have to they have to report. They have to report. What they're, they're, they have to report to somebody else. How they're doing? What they're doing? <laughs> so, <laughs> so my friend and I were sitting there. We're, we're still laughing, and we're both at the same time. We look up and we're like, "So sorry, dudes." <laughs> <laughs> Must be very boring. <laughs> it's like <laughs> we are so sorry for everything that you have to report on us. <laughs> so today they fell down the stairs. <laughs> uh, no, because. Right before that, like a couple days before that, so that our, our husbands were both active duty at the time, and it was like desert storm or some feel or whatever happened. They weren't here, so and we, I didn't have kids at the time. She didn't have kids, so after work we hung out together. Yeah, and we were at her house, and she lived a little bit outside of the town we were in in, in, in Germany, and uh, we hear this noise. It was like um, it sounded like a wounded animal. Oh. We, we heard that, and we're like, oh my gosh, there's a poor animal out there that's hurting. Okay, we were drunk at the time, too. We, we had a little, we we're not drunk drunk, but enough to hear noises of wounded animals. So we're like, oh my gosh, what do we do? And we're both chickens, okay? Yeah. So we armed ourselves with steak knives. <laughs> So she had a steak knife in her hand. I had a steak knife. We felt, we felt bad. Yeah, it's like, like yeah, yeah. We're gonna get we that. got this. We're going to save this animal. We're going to protect that animal. <laughs> so we're outside and we're trying to hear where it's coming from. And then it's coming from over there. A few seconds later, it's coming from over there. Oh. And then a little bit later, you hear it over there again. And then it's coming from behind us. Like, what were you guys drinking? <laughs> I know, right? It's like, if I remember what we were on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Mushrooms. No. I never did mushrooms. But anyway. Um, but yeah, so we were like, what the heck? And then it dawned on us. It was owls. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think about what an owl sounds like. Well, we didn't know. Really, I, I, mean, I grew up in a city. She grew up in a city. Yeah, you're like, what's what an owl look? I mean, I knew we know what it looks. I wouldn't what it sounded like, you know. Yeah. So, so we're like, yeah. Fortunately, it was like one in the morning or something. So there was really nobody out watching us. Thank God, except our aliens. <laughs> Your aliens. <laughs> Imagine they having to report that back. So these two chicks, man, they're like, <laughs> they were running around the backyard with steak knives. <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. So we went out trying to save an a wounded animal. It turned out to be owls. <laughs> oh my God. You know, you well, fun, but it's, yeah. a, it's a great story now. It's a great story. Looking back, you know, at, at the time we felt so stupid. I mean, we were, we were not drunk enough to, like, you know, but we... You were drunk enough. We were drunk enough to, like, you know, go out and rescue a wounded animal. Oh, we were sober enough to realize that that was really stupid. <laughs> I should hope so. <laughs> Did you do anything fun like that? Or that, that you're willing to admit on camera? Maybe not that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I was. We call it crazy. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> no, I used to. Well, I grew up kind of in the middle of nowhere. Oh, okay. So the critters, you know. I'm, Wounded I'm animals. Used to them. Yeah, Owls. yeah. I'm used to the noises and the weird sounds, and they just kind of ignore them. Go, well, they're a goner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I did learn the hard way that uh, cactus is not fun. Um, I grew up in Arizona, oh. so I kind of already knew that. Um, They're prickly, aren't they? Oh yeah. So as a teenager, <laughs> um, I was dating Brian at the time, which I ended up getting married. So yay! 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 Win! Win! Um, for whatever reason, he didn't want to wake up my mom. Of course, he was like coming over to visit for a bit. He didn't want to drive his truck into our driveway and wake him, wake her up. So he was sneaking in? Well, so he was kind of sneaking in, but he wanted me to go out to the driveway. Oh, so he wanted you to sneak out? Yes. Oh, and, and me you being, sneaky people. You. Now, normally, where I lived, you didn't really need to bring a flashlight because mm -hmm. there wasn't like the city lights or anything like that. So you use the moonlight and you can just go. Well, right. it was cloudy and I was already out the front door. This was back before flashlights on cell phones. And so I'm like, okay, I vaguely know that the driveway is this direction. So I veer this direction. I walked straight into a cactus. 
Well, I bet that woke you up. Yeah, it, it did. It was awesome. <laughs> I'm just feeling that pain right now. And I'm seeing you like, you know, in the cartoons, like face first. <laughs> uh, luckily, it was the, the foot first. Oh, so ouch. I, like the whole le leg ended up in the cactus. <laughs> but then I stopped because I was like, oh my god. And so I just slowly backed up and got down the driveway somehow. And I'm like, That's awesome. Brian, we gotta pluck a bunch of thorns out of me because I just walked into a cactus. I have special friends. <laughs> we are special I know. It's like takes one to know one. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, oh, so wow. that, that yeah, that was my crazy nighttime story. Duh. Normally I'm great at navigating in the dark. Just from doing it but that day. Yeah, I'm but see you needed a good short story to share. Yeah, so there, there you, you go. go. <laughs> that, that, that. <laughs> Don't try to. I wouldn't try it now. I mean, now are you picturing your alien reporting that story, yeah. looking back now that you, now that you have that. <laughs> right? yeah, like, so she walked into a cactus. I was like, <laughs> I never believe. I never believe this guy. It's like The Sims. You oh my the God. Sims? No, but I heard about it. <laughs> You're like watching your little characters do really dumb stuff. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, that's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. What do you think, Mo? Do you want to be in the picture? You can come up. Oh, come up. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Hey, ho, meet Mo. You need to. You need to look the other way. Look that way. Camera is that, that way. way. <laughs> there we go. Okay, get okay. okay. <laughs> that's Thank, like you. That. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Mo oh, is awesome. Um, Mo is my service dog. He's been my pet his whole life. I've had him his whole life because I had his dad, and the first four years of his life, he was just my pet. Yep. And I was, I have always been his emotional support human. I'm really good at that. Um, and then I have balance issues. So sometimes people see me and I look like I'm drunk, but I'm really trying to not fall and keep my balance. So I decided, oh wait, I have a nice big dog. Yeah. I'm going to make him my service dog. Yeah. Bam. He's a mobile handle. Yes. He's like a purse on, on legs. Yes. Except he doesn't carry anything. Yeah. You should get a little like backpack. No. <laughs> I thought about it. I actually had some because I did with my first dog that I had, my first Boulevard that I had, I did search and rescue work in the Allegheny Mountains and I had saddlebags for him. The things you learn. <laughs> I know. I know. It's like I did a lot of fun stuff. Huh. And some stuff it's like, but there was no internet at the time. <laughs> you know. Wait, us young people? You well, know, I was in Kuwait boarding school for that. five years. In Germany. Oh. So, that's it. Yeah. Good times. Good times. Yeah. yeah. Got an education. Got 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 graduated. You know, from with my Abitur in Germany, it's like the highest level before college. Hmm. So, and only if you graduate from there, you can go to college. Oh. So. Okay. So yeah, because here, because here you can kind of skip it. Some colleges, you know, you can get like a GED. And just... Right. Yeah, no, in Germany it's it's different. Hmm. So, I think it was half a doctorate by the time I got my my certificate. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little different. I, I did like the, uh, oh, what is it? The upper level classes here that you do. High school? No, no, in high school, but it's like they're, they're more advanced. Oh, like AP? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> um, so it was kind of like AP, and I did biology and math. <laughs> I suck in math. <laughs> That's why calculators got invented. Exactly. But it, it, I had to do, either, it was either that or um, sports. And I'm not the sporty type. Never have been. No. That were your option? That was your option? To math go with sport? biology. To go with the biology. And I wanted to do biology because I'm a nerd. Yeah. yeah. I'm a total nerd. So I, I knew I wanted biology because it's just so cool. <laughs> but it, and my options were to go with biology I either do math or I do sports. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not, no. Weird. I have like two left legs. <laughs> so, or feet, whatever. Two left feet? Yeah. Yes. So, uh, so yeah, sport is out. Yeah. Sport is out. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have that hand-eye coordination. So you just, you just suffered with math. So I did math. I'm like, oh, how hard can it be? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> calculators. Calculators. <laughs> but anyway, so I left my first finals. Oh, no. Yes. 
And then the second time, I at that but before I went into my my oral testing for math, I already knew I had passed, so I didn't care. Mm. But yeah, I did it. But no, it was fun. It was like five years of fun because it got away oh. from you know from the abusive home situation and stuff. So oh yes, yeah, so right. yeah, but um, that worked out. Oh my gosh, it was so awesome. It was a private school. Yeah. And I was a warden of the the state, so actually the the city of Stuttgart youth services city of Stuttgart paid for me to be there. Oh. Like, there we go. Cool. <laughs> so, no, I mean, it was really fun. It's a beautiful school. Yeah. It's like sitting in the corner of two alleys. It's an old abbey. Huh. It's beautiful. I'll show you pictures. You'll have to. So, yeah. um, but anyway, so yeah, fun fact. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did all kinds of weird stuff. Weird stuff. <laughs> and I'm here to tell. Yes. We all survived. I know, right. Huh. And we didn't, we never got caught. I didn't ever did anything illegal, but... Yeah. But still, you should end it. But you know, it's really fun. I mean, you heard me say when you when when people leave, and I'm like, hey, don't get caught, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's fun, and, and a lot of people look at me like, what? What do you mean don't get caught? What do you mean? What do you mean don't get caught? I said, well, you know, usually you say stay out of trouble. Yeah. No. No. Just don't get caught. No, just don't get. Don't get any ideas, people. I'm not saying get in trouble. <laughs> just don't get caught. I know, just don't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> stay within the law. So. Who side are you on? <laughs> I don't know her. She just walked in from the street and fell down in my studio. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I found out the but, other day that, that irked me a little bit. So we're looking for lakes to go on vacation. Go laking? Go laking. You know. Is that a word? It is now. It's a, it's a word now. Um, <laughs> laking, laking is a word now yes. created by Beanie and Tiffany. Yes. Trademark. Webster, take that. <laughs> <laughs> So we're looking at the ones around here, you know, at least like an hour, two hours away. We look at 11 Mile, right? We're like, ooh, this one's kind of pretty and, and yada yada. And then we start reading the fine print. You're not allowed to swim in this lake. Why is it a reservoir? A reservoir for drinking water? Yes. Oh. And, you know, in the, the, the lake that I normally go to, the Elfin Butte Lake in New Mexico, is also drinking water, reservoir. But you Colorado, can, New Mexico. Mexico. So I'm having, I'm like, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> this is a, this is a reservoir that's supposed to be recreational, where you cannot recreation. <laughs> well, you can sit on the beach. Well, you can just sit and stare at it. Yeah. How boring is that? Right. I'm like I want to. So we're not it. going there. We're not going there. No. So where are you going? Oh, you're going back to. Yeah, we're probably gonna go to New Mexico. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, but we wanted to do like a like a short like kind of day trip type of deal, and even then it's like, what is going on? I'm not used to Colorado and their weirdness. Hey, watch it. <laughs> we made Colorado home ten years ago. We moved here. The army sent us finally. See, it's the army school. <laughs> no, I'm grateful. Cause here's the fun thing. We were here for two weeks, and for the first time in my life, I felt like I come home. I belonged. Huh. So, yeah. so yeah. I call I, I like call Jeff people. at work and I said I'm home. I and like he, the people for right. sure. They're, they're okay. But I mean, yeah. Sunshine. Yeah. I mean, we have so much sunshine and yeah. sunshine. I mean, yeah. it's known to enhance your mood and yeah. all that. So we're generally happier because we have so much sunshine, right? And happiness. And yes. Mo. And Mo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you. But apparently, you're not allowed to swim in the reservoirs. <laughs> in some. some. Yeah. In some, some of them. them. You can't. Right. But. Oh, have you been to Catamount Lake going up Pikes Peak? Mm -mm. Oh, oh, man, it's so beautiful. I don't know if you can swim in it, but there's people on boats on there and fishing and stuff. Yeah. It's so beautiful, especially in the fall with the changing of the colors and there's a bunch Ooh, of aspens there. Yeah. So cool. You know, the, the fall colors here, they don't last very long. I noticed. But they are so awesome. Oh, my gosh. So once it starts, like, you better catch it. Right. Because otherwise you'll miss it. Right. Because it's like, the, the seasons here, it's like... Poof gone. Poof gone. Just for right. fall, really. I mean, spring kind of hangs well, out. Well, spring happened like on a Tuesday. Well, this year yeah. we had a little longer. But this year was weird. This year it's was like weird, yeah. Spring. It was more like winter. Still. It was spring. And then it spring. was like, oh, splash of summer. And then, and then we winter. went back into winter. <laughs> then a little spring. And then a, a little spring. And then Sounds back summer. to winter. Yeah, back to winter. And then Another it's day, like, we had oh, a little bit of summer. Maybe. And then we have it all in one day. 
We do. Yeah, yeah. That freaks me out. Uh, right? You like wake up and it's cold. And you're like, okay. <laughs> I'm going to put on my heavy coat because it's like 40 degrees outside. Then by noon, it's like 80 degrees outside. Right. And you're like, oh, I'm sweating to death and dying. So wear layers. If you're in Colorado, you have oh, to wear always. layers. Or bring a jacket with you. Yeah. You know, it's like, but yeah, it's like having all four seasons in one day. Yeah. It happens frequently. I know. But you know what's really cool in the winter? Okay. So we can have this this massive blizzard today. Yep. I'm, I'm not saying today. Don't don't bring not the blizzard. Today. No. <laughs> but in the winter. So you have blizzard on one day. Yep. And then the next day you can shovel snow in your shorts and a tank top. Yep. And it melts off. Right. Yeah. It's the weirdest place. I just, when it comes to weather anyway. That is the weirdest love place. It. Yeah. Did you guys have hail damage in the in the hailstorm and was it August? Last year? Uh-huh. No. Lucky. Thankfully. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, we've, we've always been lucky until then. Yeah. But Did you have a window or something? Oh, yeah, we have a, two skylights, one in the house and one in the shed. Oh, and both We now have new ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a new roof. Well, a lot of people's, like, cars got totaled. My kids', my boys' cars got totaled. Yeah. Which kind of was a blessing in disguise because it was just cosmetic uh, and their okay. old money on it. So with oh, with the yeah. check from the insurance company if that went towards the goal, almost, almost, and yeah. um, it's like that's a win. They're like, but no, my car is done. I'm like, it's okay. It's just cosmetic. Yeah. Now yeah. they give you some more money to pay right. off that loan. Right. Now you pay off the loan and then you do whatever whatever you want. Yeah. They're like, oh. It's so actually, my my youngest, my Patrick, he just bought himself a new car. He's so oh, cute. Oh my god, he's so cute. So he got himself a Hyundai Elantra. Oh, this. Oh, and it has all the bells and whistles in it. It has like the, you know, the... The tech, I the tech package. It, yes. and all the, I mean, it has pretty much all the stuff that my Lexus has, which huh. is really cool. It's just in a Hyundai. Yeah. You know, so... That's the price. And, and he called me <laughs> on, the, on his way, like right after he got the car. He's so cute. I love him so much. Him and his fiance. And uh, he calls me. He goes, Mom, this car is so cool. I can tell it to call you and it's calling you. <laughs> I would react. I was like, that is awesome. <laughs> but I get it because I remember my when, when I had my, my first car that, that I connect with my the Bluetooth, Bluetooth and everything. Yeah. I thought the horse it's was so, so cool. I could <laughs> just tell him, well, I told my phone, not my car, but I told the phone. It's like, you know, okay, Google. Yeah. You know, and then the, the call. A lot of them now have a button like on the steering wheel where you can like press it and it'll do the Google voice stuff and oh, listen to you. Oh, they do? Yeah. I got the wrong car. No, or you just have I don't. I don't. I, no, I don't really need that because I think that's too distracting. I mean, I yeah. like my gadgets in my car, but I think if it's too much, it becomes too distractive. Oh and yeah, yeah. It's like, yo, people, don't text while you're driving, don't please. Do because here's the thing: have you noticed? You can tell when people are texting that are in front of you. Oh yeah, yeah, because yeah, they because slow they, down they slow in the down. left lane. They slow down and then they start kind of going. Uh, right. Kind of like they're drunk, but they're right. Not. And but I mean, the, the <laughs> slowing down when you when you're left lane on the interstate. Is dangerous. It, it's more dangerous. Okay, and let me tell you something here. Okay, guys, I love you all, but nobody is that important. Nobody. 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 If it's really super important, people can call you. Yeah, and also, if it is that super important, pull over. <gasps> <gasps> ah! Pull over. Right. Off the road, stop driving, and who's <gasps> bump. <gasps> That's not the way of the like, people. Huh. I know, but I mean, seriously, people, use some common sense. Buy some if you need to, but really. <laughs> Buy some. Well, yeah. well, you know, some people. How much does that cost? I don't know. It's, it's a, I hear it's a very rare commodity, but that's a different story. But anyway, um, no, but seriously, don't. It's it's not that important. Yeah. You know, it's like, if you really want to live with the guilt of having killed somebody because you had to text LOL back to somebody. Right. I've seen people do even worse things. Like reading a book on their phone or... Watching a YouTube video. Don't watch this while you're driving. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I it's mean, like, I value my life. Maybe you don't value life, but value other people's life. And it's like, you want to go to jail? It's not worth it. Yeah. It's or really die. not worth it. Or di yeah, die. You know, but I mean, seriously, I just don't get it. Yeah. But that's why I'm saying it's like, I mean, it's nice to have all these gadgets in the car. But, but at the same time, it's like you shouldn't be using them. At the same time that you're done. Right? 
So it's an, I think that uh, getting too distracted. So I'm I'm actually glad that on, on my on my Lexus I don't have. You don't quite, have all that extra. I mean I have a whole bunch of stuff, but yeah. you know I wish I had like a Spotify app on there so I can log into my car with Spotify versus uh, on versus my phone. like doing the Bluetooth here. Yeah, but I don't care. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with it. So, yeah. but um, but other than that, it's like. When I'm driving, I'm focused on driving because I like to get there in one piece. I like to get other people that are on the road, mm -hmm. get where they need to go. Because okay, orange, not my color. No. Not my color. Not my color either. So, <laughs> right. So, yeah. it's just no. Anyway, that was service announcement. Our public service that announcement. That was my public service day. announcement. So don't text and drive, please. Okay, it's not that yes. important. It's really not that important. And I know it's all about with, with social media and then... The, the access we have, I mean, yeah. it's all about now, 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 now. We're yeah. such an instant gratification kind of society. Yeah, and that's kind of the catch-22 with, like, what I do. Right. Because I do social media, and it's, like, it's becoming this monster. But do you really have to respond immediately to every time somebody... No, but a lot of people feel like they're entitled, entitled. to that. Yeah. That's yeah. another thing, but not today. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. with a, a lot of things that I do, it's kind of becoming this big monster. I mean, I keep seeing a lot of my friends, especially on Facebook, going, I'm taking a Facebook vacation because I can't... I'm like, well, if that's the way you got to do it, that's the way you got to do it, but... <laughs> Self-control... Why do you have to announce it? Yeah, it's like, wait, well, they... they well, maybe it is that entitlement, right? Like I, 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 I just think it's just that, but it's died or something. I well, don't know. right, but I mean the other thing too is I think with um, the way we have access to social media and everything is mm -hmm. instant. instant yeah. Um, even though we're more connected, I think we're way more disconnected. Yeah. On, on on the human touch, it's like pick up a phone, call somebody, don't just text. You yeah. know, don't don't send a Facebook message or Instagram, whatever. You know, what I found a them. lot of people feel weird about just calling people now. Like, they almost need permission to call. Call, people, you have permission. Yes. Call, yes. pick up the phone. I people. love talking on the phone. Right. And I'm kind of weird, I guess. I like, talk, I like talking, period. But right. you know. It's like, I love talking on the phone. I hate texting. Because, you know, sometimes I, I have Bluetooth. So when I'm working on, like, stuff, and I, I, the, the silence. So I either I'll listen to music or I'll go to talk to somebody on the phone while I'm, like, working on stuff. But I'm like, nobody... Nobody wants to call me. Call me. I'll call you. Call me. I'll call you. <laughs> but yeah, you know, a lot of times, no, no, like, but you I, feel I, weird. You're like, oh, I don't want to like distract them from what they're doing, and like people are so busy now. I feel like we're just filling our days I to think, the brim. Well, and I think part of it is because so we don't have to deal with our feelings and our emotions. Yeah. Because you know, really having taken that responsibility. You know, because we're such a society, it's like, you can blame anything or anybody mm -hmm. for your actions. And get away with it, sadly. Yeah. Okay? I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. I think that that's wrong on so many levels. But I, th I really think it's like, and I was like that for a long time. I did not want to deal with the darkness in me, with the, with the feelings, with the emotions, because it's painful. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, well, if I ignore it, or if I get busy, busy myself, I'm busy working, you know, I don't have to deal with it. Yeah. Well, here's yeah. the reality is it doesn't go away. It just piles on top yeah. and piles so on top and piles on to top. Fester. Well, it's not only that, but it's like, it's like, you know, you fill a cup mm -hmm. and you fill it Eventually. and you fill it and then one drop. So you say you, you fill it full of water to the brim and then you put in a drop of wine or something. Yeah. That, it has nothing to do with anything, but that one drop overflows overflows and everything is pouring out yeah and i just posted on, on my my uh facebook page the other day i put it up because i, I created my own graphics for my for my postings yeah and i posted a picture of a wine glass that spilled over i don't know if maybe you saw that but it's like what and i asked what's what's in your cup yeah. because of what whatever is inside of you yeah. When something yeah. happens, that spills out. Yeah. So if you're filled with anger and with rage and you don't deal with it, yeah. something happens that has nothing to do with anything. And it could have been like so innocent, but it, it sends you in this rage and now you're like over... Or something so small. Right. Like that you shouldn't even really be bothered and, by. And, but and normally it wouldn't point, bother you. you just, but because you, you kept it all in and you never dealt with anything, yeah. now it's... And, and I use that example, like... We're all driving, right? Yeah. And I used to be that way too. Yeah, so. road rage. 
you know, I mean, so you so you're driving in here, like la 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 la, and then if there's one person that cuts you off, cuts you off. Yeah. or does something, yeah. or, okay, yeah. and what do we do? We unleash all oh, our right. fury in that car. Yeah. I mean, we use all the colorful metaphors that we can think of. Yep. That person doesn't care. They're already gone. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we're holding on to this and we just let everything that has been built up and has been festered, we just unleash it on that one situation. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So. And it, it wasn't even that big of a deal. No one died. No one got no, it was, hurt. It was a nuisance. Happened. It was irritating. It was irritating. But, you know, if you, you just keep, you know, right. building those things up, then you just right. don't. You just don't have that coping mechanism anymore right. either. If you're not mm -hmm. dealing with things as they come. Right. Then. Mm -hmm. You're just ignoring a monster. Right. It's like the elephant. But, but the I, I think that's, eventually. Right, but I think that's why we have all the problems with the shootings, with the suicides, with the road rage, with you know, with yeah. with all of that. I think it's really because people are not taught anymore or yeah. encouraged, yeah. you know, to deal with with what's their feelings and their emotions. Yeah. But it, it has to go somewhere, and it's just, if you're not dealing with it, it's just like, boom. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, and that's one thing they well. I mean, it's not like they teach that in school. They should. <laughs> they should. You know, there's a lot of schools now that are starting to replace detention with meditation. I love that. I think that's awesome. I love. It. So, fun fact, really cool, quick meditation to calm down. Y'all can do this, okay? So, so you just sit, you just relax. You, you can do that too, Ma. Yes. <laughs> so you do like, and what I do is I put my hand right, right here, like between my boobs <laughs> on my heart okay and then I close my eyes and then I take a deep breath in and I, I picture like deep in breathing white light in or some light yeah. but I'm breathing it into my heart yeah. yeah and then I let that white light go through all my body and then I exhale mm. as I do yeah. that it's like instant mm. Mm. Can you do that like two or three times yeah it just instant calm pain Instant calm. Yeah, instant calm. Plus, for yeah. that, that helps me connect with my higher self and like, what's going on? Yeah, what's what do really I have to, going on? Right. What's yeah. really going on? What do I have you know, to do? You get anxiety and you just start hyping things right. up. Right. Right. But it's like, okay, is this really the problem, or is there something else? That's, it's that, you know? or sometimes it's just do this. Take before you unleash the fury. Take a moment. Do the breathing exercise, and then it's like, okay, is it really that important? Is it really affecting me? And I'm gonna, am I going to let it keep affecting me? Right. Right. Yeah. And it's like, am I going to deal with the consequences if I let it affect me and I act on it? Probably not. Right. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's just a really nice, quick thing to just center and, and check and, yourself. And, and, yeah. yeah. But I love that, that they yeah. replace that with meditation. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know, like, there's a lot of these kids, it's more, they're, they're acting out because they don't know how to deal with their emotions. Mm hmm and, you know, just teaching them how to deal with that and calm down and center themselves. Well, it's, it's not just that, but I mean, because of the electronics and everything, I mean, most kids now, they're sitting in front of a TV or on, on their phone or whatever, and they play video games. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 you have energy, and, and you need to... You need to release it. You need to release it, but in a, in a positive way, and, and yeah. like be active and let it out, and, you know, it's like... I mean, there's a time and place for everything. Yeah. And in moderation, I have no... I mean, my kids play video games. I mean... Pff, yeah, I'm they not, all do. I'm not monster mom. <laughs> exactly. Or... No. Or no. Let me see. It's like, my kids... No, anyway. But, uh, no, but I mean... Find the balance. Yeah, you know, let, balance let kids be kids. Yeah, exactly. And don't use, use TV or whatever as a babysitter either. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like... It, and I think that's really part of the problem that we have, you know, and unless we actually do something about it yeah. and, and be proactive and take responsibility, yes. you know, I think the problem is going to get much worse before it gets better. Yeah. I really think so. So I'm like... And then there's more with the squeaky toy. Which is kind of scary, right? <laughs> right, it is. Look, no, you're so happy. You have your toy. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> Mom's like, I'm a dog. I'm happy. <laughs> He's like, no, but I'm like, I don't need this discussion. I think everybody should have a pet. Not, not, not everybody, but they're very therapeutic. They are. So I have a little wiener dog. Aw. He's so cute. She's the cutest. Oh, since so a girl, maybe we should we should have a play date. Sure. Would you like a play date? Would you like a play date? Yes, no, I want a play date. He's like, no, I just want to play. Give me my bone. Give me my toy. But uh, uh, no, but I mean, I really think, and I mean, I don't have the solution. Yeah. 
you know, but I think it's really if, if people start taking responsibility for their own actions, for their feelings, for their emotions, and not blame yeah, everybody like and their mom. They made me angry, so that's why I did this. Well, so and, here, they, and here's the thing, yeah. okay, because, you know, I'm the happy person. Um, fun fact is nobody can make you happy, can make you angry, can make you anything. They can aggravate you. Yes. They can add to your frustrations. They are. They can, you know, add to it or take it away from it. They can push your buttons. But here's the thing: <laughs> they cannot make you have your emotions. Yeah. No. They can't. They make might you trigger. Escalate it. Right. They might point. trigger. Yeah. If you let them. Yeah. But the power is all on you. Yeah. Because we've got the power. No, <laughs> 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 no, but for real, I mean, it's it's like. This is our life. I'm responsible for me. Yeah. So. And it, I think it's so hard for people to get outside of themselves and understand that. You know, they... they uh, because we don't want to take responsibility. We're, this oh, is the, yeah. We're taught. We don't, you don't have to take it's responsibility. It's so easy to point the finger mm -hmm. at someone else and go, eh, Yeah. It's Stop their fault. doing that. It's like, do this. Yeah. I did that. I own it. Yeah. And, hi, Mo. I know. Hey, it's so distracting. You are so cute. Okay. Though. Well, this is Mo the pet. Yes. Because this is this is we're in my house in my studio, so Yeah, so he's like this I'm is, the pet. <laughs> this is Mo the pet. Mo the pet. <laughs> <laughs> because he does not have to service right now. Get off. Off. <laughs> Get down. You're awesome. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. This is fun. Yeah. I think I like this. Yeah. Just like whatever comes to mind. Yeah, whatever comes to mind. Whatever comes up. I know. You're gonna have fun editing this stuff. <laughs> I don't think I will. Oh no! <laughs> I don't think. But I, I think my my editing part is put your contact information in. Oh. I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's it. No, yeah, we're. Because it's just fun. Yeah. Because you know my thing is is like I'm real. I'm I'm I mean you you've known me how long now? A couple of years, a year, yeah, two years. Yeah, yeah, two probably two years. Right. Yeah. I mean I'm straightforward. Yeah. I'm I'm really straightforward, black and white, which is what you get. That's <laughs> <laughs> why I said you get away with things. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, but because it's like, this is my one life. That's true. You know, yeah. and it's like, be who you are because you will attract the right people. Yeah. Because if you're trying to be somebody, you will not attract the right people that are good for you. Exactly. I've, because I've done that for a long time. Yeah. And it's real interesting because pretty much none of these people are still part of my tribe. Yeah, they're not your, your friends or around you even at all anymore. Not really, no. Yeah. You know, and, and I'm okay with it. At first I was like, why? What's wrong with me? Yeah, you always kind of why think, can't like, I what's keep wrong friends? with me? And it's right, just I mean, for me it was like, why can't I keep friends? Yeah. But now I know because I was growing. And they didn't. And they didn't. Well, yeah, they, they didn't they, want to grow They, with they you. stayed. They yeah. liked being because you know misery loves company, and why was I miserable? Yeah. You know, and and the, ooh, there's an upside to victimhood. Oh. So I was totally in, immersed in this. I was enjoying the upside of victimhood. You know, all the yeah. attention you get and yeah, the excuses like, you can oh, do. Oh, was me. Right. Yeah. So so when we got in together, we're all talking about oh, and I'm worse off than you are. You know, something like that. Yeah. But anyway, but uh, at one point I was like, no. It's like, why are we doing this? I didn't even say why we're doing this. I'm just, I'm not do. I decided I'm not doing this anymore. Yes, yeah, so you just kind of cut yourself off. And, um, and, you know, I mean, I changed my set of friends over the last, well, so I really, the two th beginning of 2004 was really a turning point for me. Yeah. I was ready to end my life. I mean, I wrote about it in my book. I was ready to end my life and everything. And later that that August, I had gashy bypass surgery. But, I mean, I made the decision. I'm taking my life back. I'm taking my power back and everything. So, mm -hmm. and as I was growing and evolving yeah i mean and every different level you know i made new friends and yeah. then i moved on and it's like i thought we were really good friends and now and there's go away and right and, and now it's like what and of course you know you question it's like what am i doing wrong was it just like but you really question yourself because yeah. then that's part of society too yeah. you know what we're conditioned it's like it's me. It must be me. You know, something must be wrong with me that nobody likes me all of a sudden anymore or whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah. but it's like, no, it's, it's no, you no. just haven't found those new people that are along the same lines of you. Right. You know, yeah. and, it, and it really, it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with the other person. Yeah. So yeah. I, I don't know, suppose you're like a total douchebag, but it, that's on you. But. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of hard when you're like, especially kids when they're growing up, they are kind of forced to be around certain people because... 
you, you go to school with them. Right. And so, like, the bully situation is like, oh, you know, mm. like, as an adult, you can do, you know what I mean? But you, you're you forced to. You, you have to, to go. Yeah, you have you have to go to school right. and, and all tough. that. So that's that's pretty tough. That is tough. It. So like, you know, when I was growing up, I I I never really clicked with anyone. <gasps> Me neither. Oh, wonder how that works. <laughs> but yeah, I never really clicked with anyone. I just I had friends in every clique. I had yeah. never belonged to us a clique. Yeah. But I had at least one or two friends in every one. Yeah. And I didn't really have friends in any clique, actually. Aww. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of like, I don't know, they just weren't the personalities that I was kind of looking for. Right. You know, and, and also with, like, school and high school, like, I always had this, like, driven mentality to... Like, How dare you? I know. It's weird. <laughs> so I did end up, like, usually hanging out with, like, what you would call the nerd crowd, just because they, they were more driven to do... Their homework. <laughs> right. Well, at the time, that's what's important, right? Um, but yeah, so they were they they had that more driven personality to do things, and so I kind of like the science kids and like all that stuff. Right. So you know, well, I kind of fit in with them a little bit, but that's still a, that's at the same a book time. Out. Is it called "The Nerds Shall Inherit the Earth"? Uh, I I don't. I think that's really what it's called. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Anyway. Yeah. Side note. Anyway, so. Yes, I know. But yeah, so it's kind of like, it's really hard as a kid to kind of find those people. Right. Because you're, it's a captured audience. Mm hmm So now that I'm an adult, I'm like, oh, look at all these cool people. <laughs> you know? Oh, no, right? It's like, it opens it's like, where have you whole, been my whole life? It opens this whole world that you're like, oh, everybody sucks. But no, it's just no. you're kind of, your, your group ended up not being on your same level. It's called a frequency. Yeah. It's called vibration and your frequency. Vibration. And, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. your vibe attracts your tribe. Yeah. Because then, there, then there's kids that, they're like the popular kids, they have tons of friends because everybody's But on you their know vibration. what? They're not really happy. Yeah. A lot of them are really not. They, because they have all this extra pressure on top of everything. Yeah. The pressure so, to kind yeah. of please everyone and I still mean, stay cool, uh, right? Yeah. So don't do that to Thank yourself, you. guys. Hey, so I have a question, because this is our first one, and I don't even know how long it's been already, because this is just fun. Who knows? <laughs> so, as my expert, yes. what would be the, the best length for you to be able to put? Because <laughs> I just might have to just, like, halfway through, cut. Two um, shows. <laughs> yeah, we might have to do part two. Um, <laughs> I know, right? And four or five, but yeah. <laughs> Six. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. I mean... It, the attention spans anymore. It just depends. Squirrel. Exactly. I don't like to watch anything longer than ten minutes, to be honest. Yeah, I think you're not gonna watch this one. <laughs> I think we've been over. <laughs> we've been over for like a long time. I don't know, but it's just fun. Yeah. I yeah. like that. So do you like this format? Yeah. For, I think for, it's a for good a show. Yeah. What about you guys? Keep your comments. Yes. Below. You know, it's like, I don't know if you have a topic to touch on. You know, I'm open to talk about almost anything. Yeah, exactly. I've, I've gotten careful. Like, I always used to say, say, you know, English is my second language, so I was like, oh, I'm easy. People are like, oh, really? I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> easy going. Going. Second I'm language. learning. So, yeah. So, <laughs> I will talk about almost anything. Almost. So, but yeah. This is, yeah. This is fun. It's good. So, if you're still watching after, I don't know, I don't, I really have... I have no concept of time. I don't either. Because time... We could have been here for an hour. Who knows? I'm okay with that too. So, but anyway, <laughs> so this is it for today. And uh, the plan is... The plan. The plan. The plan. The plan. Um, to have one, a new show up every week. Yeah. And it will not always be in my studio. Or sometimes I will meet people wherever they are. Because it's not always convenient. And I don't really want everybody in my house. That's true. I know. I know where you live. Ew. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> I know I should have blindfolded you and put like a bag over your head. I no. drove here, man. That's scary. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Well, I have a big dog. Right. Well, yes. But anyway. No, but I mean, yeah. it's, it's just it's just fun. Yeah. And, and I just love... I love connecting people. I love connecting with people. I love connecting people. Yeah. You know, and um, and we, we actually met at a networking event. We did. Yes. So, it, it's just fun. A long time ago. 
about two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah. In an awful place. That place was awful. But anyway, <laughs> I met you there, so it was great. Yeah. But um, but no. So it's like as this is evolving. I mean, we figure. Well, I'll figure out how it and what and what, whatever. So you know, and then it's like if if you all like it, come back. If not, bye. I mean, True. I love you. <laughs> But it, it, there's no hard feelings. I really don't because it's like if it, if it, if this works for you, if you enjoy this, awesome. If yeah. not, awesome. Hope you find something that you enjoy more. So, yeah. In that case, thank you so much. Sa thank you. There comes the German. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 words. I don't think. Like, <laughs> anyway, but no, thank you so much for being here. Yes. And thanks for being on my podcast earlier. And I don't yes. know when that one will air, but yeah, it's in July. July. Or okay. maybe on the 30th of June. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have the because week. <laughs> Whoops. Because I can't count. I <laughs> How counting. many Sundays are in this month? <laughs> Apparently, anyway. Too many. <laughs> okay, secret is I, rec I record all my podcast session in one swoosh and then I just schedule them out. And I well, that's how you keep miscounted the Sundays in June. Anyway, it's all fixed now. So yeah, maybe, maybe I'll put you on on the 30th. Okay. Because I can. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so you, this will probably come out way before. So, yeah. so you can listen to <laughs> me interviewing when talking with Tiffany. And it's shorter, trust me, because my podcast and whatever. It's the Beanie podcast. Bits. So the podcast is called Beanie Bits. And it's bite-sized pieces of happiness. And when it's just me, they're around five minutes. And when you see the longer ones, like 20 minutes or so, I have a guest. And then it's more beanie chunks, but that's okay. Beanie chunks. <laughs> <laughs> right? But anyway, so, so yeah, so you want to hear more of Tiffany? Tune into the podcast on June 30th. Yes. Cool. Oh, awesome. 2019, I think. Is it 19? Yes. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> Thank you all. Be happy because happiness matters. Raise your vibration and party on. No, that was like, have you watched Wayne's World? Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Anyway, party yeah. on. Have <laughs> be good to each other. Be good to yourself. Bye. Bye. All right.